What's up, Smashers? This is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram. We got a lot coming out from Pro Guys. Hey, you know, it's time for another intro guy. And this time, it's to one of the most explosive characters in Smash. Literally, we're talking about Solid Snake. When Snake came into the Smash series, he stuck out. This dude was a seasoned special ops soldier using grenades to fight characters like Mario and Sonic, right? Despite that, he became one of Brawl's most popular characters. His powerful zoning playstyle introduced a new way to play the game and made him rival some of the best characters in the game. When he came back in the Ultimate, people were hyped. It didn't take long to see why. Snake is one of the best projectile characters in the game. He's got a kit loaded full of artillery, and he uses it to zone, trap, and ledge trap his opponents. That's why we're breaking down the basics of this top-tier character. We're going to talk about three defining features of Solid Snake's gameplay and how you can work them into your game. So, if you watch Smash, you probably watch some hype clips of players destroying each other with fast aerial combos. For most characters, aerial strings are the name of the game, but not for Snake. For Snake, the name of the game is Ranged Destruction. When Snake first came into Smash, Sakurai didn't let him bring a gun. It's okay though, because Snake brought his grenades, rocket launchers, and landmines instead. Snake's grenades are his first and foremost zoning option. This neutral special is crazy versatile and works at most ranges. Snake can chuck a grenade at long range, medium range, short range, drop it at his feet, or pull it in the air. If he drops it, he can throw the grenade in any direction, or cook it so it explodes in the air. Each option helps Snake make a little zone on that stage that he controls. If he throws a grenade, he forces other ranged characters to pause and react. If he drops it at his feet, he forces rushdown characters to pause and figure out how to get around it. If he holds it in his hand, it'll explode and interrupt any character trying to combo him. Snake can also have up to two grenades at one time. That makes fighting him like going through an obstacle course of explosions. And that's without even talking about his landmines. Snake's down special lets him drop a mine that he can detonate later, and the uses are pretty nuts. The simplest one is just to drop the landmine on a spot where the other player likes or needs to go. You know, a lot of the times, that's one of the platforms, since they help characters dodge Snake's grenades. Then you wait for the enemy to forget about it and detonate it right when they walk over it. But you can do some pretty cool stuff with Snake's landmine too, like sticking it into another player, or using it to reset your recovery. So, the last piece of explosive puzzle is Snake's Nikita. This move puts Snake into lag, meaning it can be punished pretty well. But the missile has a ton of drift, speed, and active frames. That means Snake has tons of uses for it. The most common is edge guarding, but Snake can also run behind it to help with his approach, or use it to fight other zoners. You know, when you finally do make it through all of Snake's traps and zoning options, you gotta deal with his tilts and grabs. Pretty much all of Snake's ground moves are super solid and help out his zones even more. Snake has a good grab range, making it dangerous to shield against him. He's got a fast up tilt that kills early, making it risky to jump at him. He's got a huge dash attack that can cover rolls, and he has a fast, strong jab to cover spot dodges. If you read your opponent's option, they're as gone as a guard in Metal Gear Solid. And Snake's obstacle course of explosives limits their options so much that they're way easier to read. Smash is all about reading your opponent, especially with ledge trapping. You know, when you force an opponent to the ledge, you narrow down their options. If you read their option, you can hit them for free after they get off the ledge. All those tools that can help Snake Zone also help him ledge trap. Snake can place his landmine at the edge to prevent a normal getup, or try in two-frame. He can drop a grenade while in the air using the Z button and edge guard. Oh, and uh, he could just take out his Nikita and chase down the enemy. Snake can also just drop the missile on the ledge to cover some get-up options too. Nikita used to be a lot stronger, but players have learned that you can beat it by hitting it out of the air. But that's not too important to Snake, because he's got so many options. If he doesn't want to use his specials, he can just use his up smash. Snake's up smash launches a motor in the air, and it can be used over and over again to launch streams of motors. The mortars cover opponents that try to jump in, and they hit really hard. Snake has so many options that he can get super creative at the ledge and use a bunch of moves. He can hold a grenade and shield, he can stick a mine on someone, he can chase a roll and up till after, he can jab, grab, and do tons of fancy stuff. Snake is just a kind of big brain character. So, just how big brain is Snake? Well, he can win by getting hit. Snake is a pretty heavy character and can live past 200% against some characters. That means that Snake doesn't mind trading hits with opponents. If he and his opponent both hit each other with a strong attack, his opponent likely gets closer to losing a stock than he does. That's super important for Snake because it makes his defense a lot stronger. 
You know, on paper, Snake's defense is kind of weak. He's heavy and he doesn't have quick aerials, so he's easy to juggle and combo. His recovery also has no hitbox, so he can just get edge guarded too. That's where his heaviness comes in. Snake can hold a grenade and let it explode on himself and his opponent to break out of combos. Since he's heavy, the grenade damage isn't that big of a deal. In fact, it's usually worth taking the damage just to break out of the combo and get out of disadvantage. It's not just Snake's grenades that can create trades either. Snake's up smash, Nikita, and down special can trade too. The Mortar from Snake's up smash can land on your opponent while they're in the end lag of their hit. Snake's Nikita can drop on an opponent or carry its momentum into them when they hit Snake. Last, but certainly not least, if Snake's getting juggled, he can drop a mine on his opponent's head and activate it later for the delayed trade. More often than not, Snake's going to win most of these trades because he's heavy and his moves have so much damage and knockback. Smart Snake players can seriously buff Snake's defense by using his ability to trade to their advantage. Those trades don't just build damage, they interrupt the opponent's flow and keep them frustrated. They also give time to learn tendencies and set up better traps and zones. But before you go up picking up Snake right away, alright, just know that this isn't your average character. Snake is for players that like to be three steps ahead. This is the character for players who love thinking about neutral and want to execute the big brain plays. If you want to really outthink your opponents, crush them in neutral, then crush them at the ledge, then you gotta give Snake a try. Over and out.